said, we now have yeah. a two uh, man deficit, four bubbles, and Lincoln goes down. Looks like two is going to pull that into a two and three situation. Round score is four to three. Let's take a look. We got forever nicely stacked with 156 health and six armor. And uh, I think he's going to be doing better than the Weird Boys. The Weird Boys uh, setting up at Bridge and RL. Mitch uh, breaking off from his teammate. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, but, oh, uh, excuse me. It is a good idea. They're now down to a one-man survivor. And I'm guessing it's going to be my boy forever. Yes, it is. He pulls it into one and one. Now, that means that uh, actually everyone ekes out with a slight stack advantage with 159 health. And this is Scotia Farmer. Yeah. Forever seems to be quite good in these one-on-one -on -one situations there. We've seen him get a rail. You see, now this is where they, the they health really rails. made a difference. Because, yeah, they both exchange rails. But now Forever's within one rail of death. And, uh, and our friend is the one who survived a little longer. Oh, but no, no, he got a direct rocket in the he, face. He Takes him survive. down. <laughs> I, I think he put on some Bee Gees and, you know. All right, so we, we got a, a nice start here forever, getting some LG work at the pillars. And uh, surprisingly, no quick advantage. Oh, there it is. There's the frag. First blood it goes to weird. Uh, make that uh, second <laughs> blood now and third blood. Then we have a two on five man up situation in favor of weird. Sanji getting another frag. Good lord, we're gonna see an ace here. The ace is gonna go. We got Silas P uh, getting railed, and yes, we have an ace by uh, the weird clan, and they have uh, brought this within uh, one round once again. Five to four. Two is out straight away. Uh, we got the uh, the weird boys just taking the RA room now that, that used to be belong to the Bubbles guys, so we'll see. Interesting to see how that fares up. Obviously, they got the man advantage, but we don't know how the the health comparison. And, and just to be clear, uh, we're uh, speaking about red armor in terms of FFA. Um, of course, normally in team deathmatch, red armor is on the other side of the map. But uh, I guess pillars would be a little bit more specific. We got Scoot uh, nailing a rail on Mitch, and he backs off. And we got shafting by forever, pulls down AB1, and that gives Bubbles a two man up advantage. Make that one man up. We're gonna go see and take a look at the survivor. 32 health of Lincoln, trying to. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, I was getting a pummel kill. Oh. Man, they're coming out swinging with the gauntlets. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Three, and just bubbles. trying to make him pay. Bubbles slowly pulling away. Again, they were down at the start of this, and uh, as we saw them do on uh, on uh, Hidden Fortress, they were down in that match too, and they started to pull away. So uh, let's see if they can maintain this lead. Razor Rex. Uh, Razor X trying to RJ into the RL area and uh, eats a rocket for his trouble. Uh, has to back off and now he's making an encroach on to the lower end of Pillars. Mitch uh, facing off with him in a shoddy battle. Razor not really suffering a lot of damage with all that exchange. Mitch finally going to go down here, I think. Oh, Razor misses yep. the shot, misses the rail. Uh, and actually, uh, we're now looking at a two on, make that one on three, and I just switched away from the survivor for Bubbles. It looks like Weird is not ready to give up uh, a, a, an ex and have Bubbles extend that lead just yet because Razor is the last guy standing. And no rails coming in from uh, Mitch. Mitch will wow. get pulled out of the air by Razor with a beautiful shot. But uh, GoLink is sitting there with three health, able to pull down the final survivor for Bubbles. Uh, one round game here, and uh, Weird uh, taking over the pillars. That's a very yeah, we got Bubbles sitting on the bridge room, just sort of looking for those uh, railgun peak shots. We're getting Scoot is getting attacked heavily now, weakened, but Golink is also down to six health because of the peak rails. So um, yeah, I mean this could could be an extended lead for Bubbles now if they manage to shut down Golink and a couple of these other weak players. Go Link Lincoln's doing a sneaky sneaky. He's okay, walking Link right underneath two, him. Two rockets, I mean two rails that were just whizzing right by his head. A third one, he's been sitting here with six health, managing to survive. Silence getting a little too aggressive, and the weird boys making him pay for it. Five and three is the man up situation. And uh, Lincoln is being sneaky sneaky here.
around the pillars. We're going to take a look. Uh, they still control that area. They're just hanging on to it. For dear life, they are down two men. Bubbles looking to get an ace on this round. Ray is uh, fully stacked as well. I mean, they've got, they've got yeah. definite health advantage here. And, and we are looking at, you know, the Bubbles guys are kind of weak at this point. Silence is hurting. Tua, no armor. Uh, scoop one health. Oh, that this poor guy. Oh, he does get a rail into Lincoln. Lincoln answers, though. Impressive. Lincoln's last man alive, and rockets come out from everywhere, shuts him down, makes the game 7-5 in favor of Bubbles. They're slowly pulling away. Three rounds away from match. Yeah, and of course, uh, these teams are currently tied for maps. This is the tiebreaker. Oh, and forever making a bad choice doing an RJ at uh, at the the first floor of the rail plat, and he walks into three guys with their guns trained on him. He goes down quickly. We've got a four on two situation. Weird, uh, having the advantage. They're not quite ready to give this round up. Uh, we got Mitch trying to do an RJ. He's been joined by teammates pushing in on pillars. And Mitch trying to uh, chase down Scoot, gets a rail on him, uh, does a nice move in order to dodge uh, damage, uh, ducks into the stairwell at uh, Red Armor, and now he's facing off against Scoot. We've got a 2-1-2 two -two situation. These guys are not together in terms of uh, you know being near their teammates. Uh, and it's Tua, nailing a rail, Mitch answering and making a 2-1-1 -on situation. The final survivor is Scoot with 40 health, and he will be pulled apart 7-6. And Bubbles remains in the lead, but only by one round. We're seeing a very close game once again by these guys. Scoot, oh, this is the problem with Scoot. Uh, he's getting a sandwich between Mitch and Sanji, and they've killed him immediately within the first, like, five seconds of the round. He is dead. Yeah, uh, Scoot really needing to do a better job of noticing where his opponents are at the very start as the countdown expires uh, so that he does not... Yeah, it's the communication. Communi key communication communication errors there I think but you know weird you're gonna tie this up 7-7 seven, seven, unless forever and razor have anything to say about it but I think it's gonna be a difficult difficult time um, obviously razor on 50 health um, and being the only one left and not even that he's dead 7-7 seven, seven is the score both teams fighting to stay in this championship fighting to uh, to get, get the, a chance of that cash prize from bestpoker.com we will like, see uh, the first Bubbles frags. is taking over bridge. And it looks like weird... Um, let's see where they're, what they're doing here. It looks like they're falling back to pillars. Yep. Mitch peeking around, eating a rail from Razor, was... pulling him down. That'll get first blood to Bubbles. And they will hang on to bridge. A oh, beautiful Silence shot by Razor. Another. Yeah, Razor getting a great shot on the pillars. He's down 31 health, but he has taken down at least two guys this round. Going for a third. Nails everyone in the back. Everyone turns around and says, Fuck you, you can rail my ass, but I'm going to rail you right back. And it's everyone down to uh, 24 health. Survives that and pulls it into a 2-2 two and two game here. Uh, tie game at seven rounds. We're going to take a look. Uh, Scoot and Forever are the survivors for Bubbles. And with yeah, the end, they're both not working very weak as well. And... The Oh, well, Lincoln, the poor guy, is sitting here with 22 health. They're going to have to pull through two guys. And the last check had a fair amount of health. Nope, they're both pretty weak. 38 oh, and okay. 21 health, so... Uh, you know, yeah, there we go. Lincoln one and one. Scoot is the survivor. Forever. Can Scoot pull out the frag here? Can he do his team proud? Let's see. He only has He's RJing around, making a lot of noise. Um, but so is Lincoln. They're not really doing yeah. the sneaky sneak tactic that well, though. But here we go, they've seen each other. There's a battle in the courtroom. Nothing's happened just yet. Still, you know... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not willing I'm to not peek sure out. not sure if they know how weak each other are. There we oh, go, wow. Lincoln. Lincoln just got, uh, just, just got a notice because he heard Scoot's scream. And so, yeah, and now he's pulled out the shoddy. A nice change of weapons. But we're going to see if it pays off for him here. He knows he only needs to get one bit of uh, shoddy damage. And his opponent, oh fuck, Scoot's got one health. 
<laughs> Come on, get the MG out. Lincoln is just rough 